Hey YouTube, I'm just going to put up a kind of a decorative uh, fence, if you will, just by hand, uh, you know, put a rock every eight feet or so, and, you know, do a standard zigzag split rail fence, just to make a little bit of a country look to it, you know, nothing real functional, because there's not going to be any thing to keep out but you know basically hopefully it'll you know go down to here where the where this little culvert is culvert pipe and uh, you know it'll prevent it'll warn people that there's a culvert pipe there to not uh, you know drive over it but it'll basically follow that little ridge you know I might go back pretty good ways just to you know have a little nice country feel to it and it'll look good against the skyline so I've set up some sawhorses here I'm gonna try to debark with a draw knife these logs you can't see them because they're all hid, hidden by all the grass but uh, all those logs that I pulled up before it's been taking me a while to get back to this project but hey you know <laughs> I'm not on any schedule so just got some time to devote to this little project so we'll keep you posted stay tuned Okay, quick look at what I did. Just kind of do a zigzag. I'm trying to zig and zag and got to, you know, keep a cognizant of the ground coverage. So I had to build that one up kind of high. This one too. We got some really good rocks on this property. So we'll see how this goes. I may have to shift things around. That one's pretty high. I may have to relook at this one. But I'll keep going down and then I'll start peeling the bark off and show you how I'm doing that. Stay tuned.
Okay, I quickly realized the error of my ways. As you can see, I was just basically lying them on top of each other sequentially, but I basically need to get right on top of that rock. And you see that first one is underneath, second one's over top. Well, I need to have the third one underneath with the second one on top. All right, fourth one, uh, third one underneath again over the rock. And the fourth one here is um, over on top. So I just need to put another one underneath there and so on. Just to keep everything level. So, you know, this is my first fence doing this, so I'm learning. So be bear with me and stay tuned. I've been leaving these logs sitting here too long. There's, there's a lot of uh, ants. <laughs> They're biting a little bit. Um, but I, you know, this is a uh, little do-it-yourselfer, and you know, I'll just rebuild it uh, with fresh logs. I've got plenty of logs, so stay tuned. All right, YouTube, this is all I can go because I ran out of rails. But I want to go about four high. I think that'll be good. And again, these were sitting on the ground a little too long, but hopefully they'll just dry out. And, uh, you know, if they last a couple years, that's okay. I'll just replace them. But I still have a long, long way to go. I still have to go all the way down to this culvert and that probably that rock I'll probably replace that rock because I got to get a flat one but yeah here's the road want to make sure nobody uh, you know goes off and 
goes into the ditch. So it's coming along. It's one of those slow projects whenever I get a little bit of time. I'll just chip away at it. So stay tuned.